the uh, program to do over and over again you would put in the in the loop that's why we need the loop for for example if we took this out of the loop if we said just blit it and we didn't pay any attention to the loop whatsoever the program would just run blit it to the screen once and destroy the bitmap like that and that's not desirable so we keep everything in the loop for that reason so now we have a red screen now we're gonna put something on the screen we're gonna take a bitmap that we made in paint or any other sprite editor and we're gonna put it in our program so what you wanna do now is we're gonna leave the color of the bitmap to black. Clear bitmap just takes the bit t takes the um, an address to the bitmap that you want to change, and it just clears it to black, no color. Just it just clears it to black. So that's what we want. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to call we're going to declare another bitmap, and we're going to call it character. Ah, can't type today and we're going to assign um, the bit the this this pointer to a bitmap we're going to assign it we're going to assign it to a value of a bitmap that we've made here and what I did is I uploaded a Mario sprite from the internet and we're going to be using that in our program so to get in order to get that into our program we call load bitmap and the first uh, argument is the path name um, if it's in the same folder if it's not in the same folder you need to type the whole path out so and anything about this path name if it's wrong it won't run just to let you know and the second parameter is the palette and we're going to talk about palettes in a later video but don't worry about them for now they're not that important just yet so now what we do is we now we've loaded Mario into this character bitmap we want to blit him to the screen so what you do is you call blit and you, the source remember the source is the bitmap that we're taking um, and we're drawing it onto the destination. So the first is the source, and that's going to be character. And the destination is going to be the bitmap, not the screen, because if you blit it to the screen, then it's going to blink, and that's not desirable. What we're doing is we're blitting the character onto the bitmap and the, or the back buffer, which is which is bit uh, BMP here, and then that is blitted to the screen. So. We're going to take that and we're going to blit it to our back buffer. And we are going to call until I explain what that's for. And now it'll blit right there to the screen. And we always remember to destroy. our bitmaps so now we have this is fully runnable and now we're going to blit Mario to the screen and there's Mario uh, he's in the corner of the screen he's kinda hiding there I guess from Bowser um, we uh, so now that we have our bitmap in the program um, we're, we'll be able to do some interesting things in the next video um, but in for this video we're going to talk about clipping real quick um, clipping is uh, the first is going to be the source X and the source Y the first two it's almost as if you take the corner of it and you clip it off so if I say the source would be zero zero and then what I do is I take the last two parameters and say maybe 50 6 50 50 what happens here is it takes it clips off the it clips off what's past 
that per those uh, those coordinates. Um, so if I wanted to put those, if I wanted to put that somewhere else, I would put in a different coordinate. So now it's somewhere else. But we still only have half of a Mario, so that's not cool. And he just sort of dissipated into nothing. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But, um, but yeah. Oh, I know what happened. I chopped all of Mario away. Like, the whole thing is gone. But clipping can be very useful whenever you're doing, like, I suppose, scrolling bitmaps. Um, you can clip part of the bitmap and show it at some point and take the other and scroll it at some point. Um, basically, all these last two parameters do is it takes the part that you want to uh, clip off. So, uh, character points to W. That's the width of the bitmap of this, and that's the height of this bitmap so it's all the way through if I wanted to like I like I did before cut it off uh, at a different point I'd put in the parameters to do that but um, you know I'm not quite sure if I've explained this ex exactly as you guys can understand if you if you have any questions just you know just shoot me an email comment or you know but make sure you subscribe and and be updated on future videos um, we're gonna be doing some uh, moving the character around in the next video so just stay put don't go anywhere this is Sio Fantasia see ya